Okay, today I got a little bit of a fun fishing video. Gonna be a little bit different. We're going to be utilizing the technique of live chumming with pilchards. So I'm gonna pre-drop the anchor. Get that out of the way. Head over there to the flats where all the pelicans are diving. Grab a big tank full of uh, pilchards and uh, see what kind of activity we could turn up over here. Uh, finally got a nice, nice load. Hopefully I didn't Christmas tree them, which I might have. got pilchards, plenty of pilchards. I've got fly rod, light tackle rod, plain line, just a circle hook, no weight. Just waiting for the boats to clear out a bit. And then I'm gonna start chunking these guys. And I came prepared, I have the net. So we'll start throwing a few out and see what happens. Ah, uh, just starting. That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna throw a few handfuls out and wait for them to start coming. And they're popping over there already. And that's what you're looking for is to see which way they go. Let them swim around. Activity breeds activity. So, we have a pretty unlimited free supply of pilchards. If the birds don't get them all. Now this is mainly an offshore tactic, but you could do it around here as well. Now I'm just going to start just throwing onesies and twosies out. So, oh, see them getting popped right there by the birds and the fish. Oh, there's one. It's getting chased in mine. Uh -oh. I think he's got it. There we go, fish on. All right, we got our first one on. I think a nice heavy jack. Wouldn't mind a nice little yellow runner. I don't want any bull sharks. Heavy dude. Ah, oh, stay away from the anchor. Stay away from the anchor line. Ah, oh, I think that was a uh, non-tooth. Let's see what butt him off. Yeah, it got shredded with toothies. So probably my little bully friends are down there. All right, we got our runner. There we go. If I lose this one to a shark then It's always fun in this nice, dark, murky water. 
There we go, another nice jack. Fell victim to the live pilchards. Another helpful thing you could do is uh, watch when you let one of these things go and that'll help you with your artificial, well, he swam way straight down, but that'll help you with the, uh, your artificial movements, how to uh, work your, uh, your, your artificial baits. Other tips you could do when you're uh, pitching these out because they could zip pretty fast, but you could stun them and then you can see they kind of get all cockety eyed just basically that the high pitch in the air gets a little bit of a splash gets them disorientated if you pinch their eyes throw them out there then they're gonna be skipping around blind so just be pitching them out there and see what they bring in all right it's just not popping like I would like it to but uh, if the fish were really here, I think there'd be a lot more activity. Not a lot of topwater stuff, so I didn't even try the fly rod. There could be like 10 bull sharks just circling me, but the water is really dirty, so I can't tell. But I'm gonna go grab another load, hopefully, because the water is getting very thin, so you risk with all the pilchers moving out. But then I think I'm gonna go try the entrance way, drop the anchor up there, do the same thing, see what happens. If that isn't working, and then go back to the edge there and try that. So we got some options. It's a little bit sloppy on the, uh, just outside the edge here. You lose the protection from the, uh, the keys. So I think I'm just gonna go see if I can grab another load and then hang out right at the edge further inside with the wind blocked a bit. And we can just still do the same thing. So let's check that out. That's a better view of uh, the live chum there. So, start out pretty heavy. See if we can get some action going here. All right, let's see if we can get some fly action going here. Dang it. Popped me when I wasn't ready. There we go. Oh, damn it. And to finish off the video, I ended up uh, catching one of those pelicans. And then after bringing it in and releasing it, made a couple of false casts, getting ready to lob out the fly. And then I heard a little grinding noise and then a kaplunk and the real spool popped out of the reel and went over the side. And of course, 
it's in free spooling mode. So it took me probably down to about a quarter left on the backing, probably about 200, 250 yards of just hand lining it in as fast as I could and it unspooling as fast as it can go and slowly kind of creeping up to the surface of about 15 to 20 feet up and then kept pulling it and finally dragged it back to the, the kayak where I could grab it. So now I have this pretty mess to unwind and try to put back together again because I didn't want to deal with it so I just took the sweater it turned into and just got it on the reel so I could get home. But anyways, so I'm going to edit this out or edit the rest of the video, put it together, upload it, and probably for the next four hours or so, I'll be unknitting a sweater here. So that is the end of the video. Hope you learned a few tips. Hope you learned some tips not to do. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.